Jesus said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet believed. Why is Jesus calling those who haven't seen blessed? When we are reading the scripture, we're like, wow, he's blessed. Because the Lord knows it takes more faith to believe something you haven't seen. Then when something's right in front of you and for you to have to be convinced by touching it. None of us have touched God physically. And yet we believe in Him because of the conviction in our heart. Because of the personal evidences He's stored up in our heart. Because of the testimonies, the things He's done. A lot of people give Thomas a bad rap for this. But imagine if all of you in here, I went to the bathroom and Jesus shows up and He shares a message with you. And I come back and I'm like, let's start service. And all of you on your face is weeping. And I'm like, what happened? Because they're like, Jesus was in the room. Jesus was here. He let us see his face. He let us touch his hands. I'd be like, how in the world did I miss him? Why did I go to the bathroom at that time? I'd be like, you guys are either all lying or punking me or something is going on. How did I miss Jesus? When I've been following him for so long and so hard and suffered so much just to have a moment with him. How come he came to you and not to me? What's wrong with me? I would have all these questions that I didn't have answers for. And I begin to pray, God, if you really came, come to me too. And then Jesus didn't even have to come back. But because of his grace and his mercy and his love for Thomas, he's like, I'm not going to leave one of my disciples hanging. Some of you have been waiting for an encounter with God. You don't have to wait longer. He's here. You promise if two or three are gathered in his name, he's there in their midst. Open your heart. Don't be like Thomas that you need a freight train filled with evidence before you can say, I believe you.